So this is just the start sequence for this car. Um, once my uh, phone's within range of the Mo unit, then it uh, enables the ignition switch here. It's just a push button start. When I push it, you will hear the high voltage contactors close and the uh, system turn on and the um, inverter will start charging the 12 volt battery. So a lot of things happen there real quickly. Uh, the system was able to turn on the high voltage battery pack via my contactor in the front. My uh, inverter unit that powers the motor did its check and then was able to turn on its contactor to supply voltage to uh, the inverter itself. So it turns itself on once it sees everything okay. Um, right off the hop, you'll see uh, my gauges over here. Uh, not 100% uh, set for my battery level, which is kind of a little low. I don't know if you can see or not. But uh, it's probably not going to focus through the steering wheel. But my... Uh, state of charge isn't quite set right it should be around 75 uh, percent or more uh, so something's not calculated right there my other temperature or sorry the motor temperature gauge this thing doesn't really get hot anyways um so that's just that stuff and then we have over here basically our uh shifter and you probably can't even see my clutch pedals, but my feet are here. So, but this thing uh, is pretty wild. Uh, I'm in neutral. So I can rev this thing up and it will rev right up and my brakes, once I apply brake pressure, sensor will slow the motor down. So what you're hearing is the uh, motor spin up in neutral, and then as soon as I hit the brake pedal, it's instant. So this thing is like an F1 car. It uh, revs right up and stops real quick, that's for sure. So, and then uh, the clutch works just the way any car would. Put it in first. You can hear it. You can hear the clutch. And the car is just creeping a little bit. Right? This is the car creeping. just like a regular car. Okay. As you can see, everything turned out pretty cool. Go look from behind. Very low. One thing I did do was put lights up here. You're seeing them blink, but that's just the refresh rate of this uh, camera. They're actually solid right now. Visibility is key with this little car. I do have the green lights on inside. Turn signals look like at a distance. Just so there's no mistake, it turns the other light off on that side. So the only lights on are those for turn signals.
same with the front. Except right. High beams. Definitely need some aim in there. All mounted. Contactors enabled. You can see the BMS has a green light. And uh, that's just a fuse block down there. And my charger. That system's all enabled. If you get sick of it, I do have a switch down here. all off. Make it easier to see. 